All right, guys, what is up? Game number three between Sorotan and Hermios and or Pox Junkie. Again, same battle group, uh, bottom side SL, and then top side the uh, mix between FS and Kather Force Wizards. And as always, Rorschach and Saska Speed here to help me commentate. He got the Angel of War first turn again. That's the third game in a row he gets the Angel of War first turn. That's insane. Although in this game, Box Junkie got to play first, so he has the first turn advantage. Yes, but the, this map, of, of the maps, this is one of the maps where the first turn advantage like matters the least, right? Because they, the, they skew the spacing on the mid font. Here it's only 5, while here it's 7. Even though, I mean, KF has an okay time getting to mid, but still. And he has a tank now. He has a tank to go mid. One thing to know is uh, the Enforcer of the Circle. I'm confused as why Junkie did this, but for one extra, I believe it's one or maybe three extra Nora, you get Magic Immunity instead of Resistance 3. So it's just, it's kind of trivial why to pick the Resistance when you can have Immunity. I, the reason I like doing it um, when I do that is, yes, the three Nora, but also because it is a tank, you want it to take damage. And what you're doing by giving it the magic resistance three is you're baiting your enemy to say, okay, I won't be dealing much damage, but I'll be dealing some. So I'll just attack it. And in that way, also wasting AP, right? And wasting its damage into that source. If it has immunity, it doesn't even go for it. So that's sometimes why exactly. I do it. You also have bold, so if you move three spaces and the opponent attacks you with a magical attack, he, he's doing like two or three damage to you. And at this point, you want the, like Gnome said, you want the opponent to attack this unit. Though, of the, of the like, that's generally what I do with other resistances, but of the resistances, magical might be the one that I would say, yeah, immunity is better, just because it is such a common attack type. And being able to say, hey, this whole attack type is gone, is kind of nice. You know what would be fun? Playing Enforcer of the Circle with immunity and then playing like, uh, what's it called? The uh, Stone Stone Shaker's Bracelet. So that has immunity, physical, immunity, magical on it. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, that's my idea. I'm not sure though either. I don't, should probably ask him. Hey, to each their own, right? Yeah. I'm sure when you do that, you run directly into a physic damage deck that wrecks you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But yeah, I think both are both our ideas are good. Like immunity for for this attack type at least for immunity, I think both are good. You can go either immunity or resistance. But that's the only reason I would go resistance is because you want him to take the damage. Like right now, if the Enigma is like fuck, I don't have anything else to do. Instead of storing AP, he might just attack the Enforcer and deal. I don't know, whopping like one damage. The Primordial Enigma is a good counter to the two to the Fairy. Yep. I mean, Inspector is there, and Sferi can still use Soften, so there's that. I hope you are all having a great week. That is so not Marcus. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Right. But I do think that the one weakness of Pox Junkie's deck is you can't counter an early rush. And that's exactly what the Ravager is doing. He's always pushing very early on and attacking very early on. And I'm not seeing a good way of countering this from Pox Junkie with this deck. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's always kind of curious to have SL rush because they don't have that much damage. But they're kind of like dragons. They rush you and they just slowly kill you, but they still rush you somehow. But their kills aren't super quick. Not like the one-shot kills from UD or anything. UD rushes you and they just kill one turn, one champion in a turn. Oh, there's the heal or the cleanse. He's still lumbering. I always never got that, why you can't cleanse lumbering. Never got that. I wonder if it's coded as like in a once you gain lumbering, it's coded as like not a negative effect, but just as a I don't know actually. That's weird. All right, so he does have the inspector that can run in. He might just go for the angel of war to see if he can kill it before the intensify goes off. If he can do like double soften stun, 
and then just go for the angel and not kill it this turn, but next turn. Oh wait, no, it intensifies next turn, two turns. And to your question about lumbering, so each time a champion gains lumbering, it's started as a passive skill and not as a negative effect. So I think that's the way you can cleanse it. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if it should work that way, but oh well. Yeah, I mean, it's annoying, but whatever. I mean, it's double, double magic attack versus magical resistance champion, so he's chilling kind of, right? The only thing that counters him is that petrifying gaze, but he just made it so that he has enough defense to actually counter the petrifying gaze. That works too, obviously, but um, because petrifying gaze does have to deal damage for it to work, and he only has 7 damage, and the manticore has 8 defense, he could have also just sat there and it wouldn't have mattered, unless he somehow would have reduced the damage, but I don't think SL really has that many ways, other than scour to reduce dam or defense, sorry. Right, so he didn't really need to stun, but it's okay. You can stun maybe just to get the kill next turn. The elf enforcer is in a position right now that he can stay in the front and tank and tank for a couple of turns. So just he wins some time. So it was really smart from Saraton that he left the front with his enigma and attack the fairy fairies outside of double tap range from the manticore 11 yeah both of them are 74 hp angel of war chilling there he's nothing he can kill he can attack things and get him maybe to you know two-thirds health but there's not oh wait ah oh, metamorphosis he's still at 74 health though right yeah exactly he's still at 74 health does he double tap this? 11. Yeah, okay, so the one enchantress can double tap this. And s the inspector can only hit it once. Soften. That's, I mean, he might use. Uh, like I said, there's not too much cleanse for SL, but they do have two things, and that's one, the um, purge, and two, the uh, relic, or equipment, sorry. Dragon God Staff. Exactly. Is he stun here ever? No, he just attacks, okay. Air shot? Why is he not engaging? Ah, okay. Wait, yeah, why doesn't he engage here to attack once? Oh, he doesn't want to be double leap, I'm guessing. Seismic doesn't want to be double seismic leap, I guess? Maybe, yeah. I think he's going for the attack anyway. He's at minus 5 defense. Might as well make use of it. You're going to be doing 16 damage. Oh, no, wait. 3 defense because of the SL bonus. Okay, GG. I guess I'm thinking that was... Uh, I don't know who exactly, but I think that was Pock Junkie saying I can't kill anything here, GG. Right? Yeah, maybe. But I mean, he right was... Now. The Angel was still in a snail form, so I don't... He hasn't... He hadn't lost a game, typically. Correct. Uh, Hermeos uh, surrendered, so it was Rath's wind.